Western Conference. The Golden State Warriors are ninth in the West and right now trying to stay in the playoff mix while developing a young roster. Will not go and a rebound by Harris. Yeah, you know, both coaches saying, you know, we're, we're happy, we like where we are, but really what they're telling you is we're looking. Jump shot. Uh, we're going to entertain that. I think it's probably a little more tricky, really, for the Sixers. Two, Green hit at the other end from five. Back and forth we go with a steal, and here comes Ben Simmons the other way. I might take Green on that. Green has already got one in. Good pass inside. And the assist will go to Tobias Harris. Works in on Green, who has been playing some spectacular ball, as we've said. Rolling around. Bradley's got it. Puts it back up and in with the offensive rebound. Pick it up. 29 games left as they come into tonight in this NBA season. Outside, Korkmaz another three, and he got it to go. Furkan Korkmaz. Commanding lead for the 76ers here early. It goes One in a thing Simmons. that this Warriors team has done pretty well this season. They've defended it really well. Oh, that was a nice move, going. a dynamic play inside. Up by Wiggins. Dwight Howard has come in for Philadelphia. Outside they go. Green with the three. Got it. Their bench production in terms of points, it's not towards the top of the league, but a lot of that's because of how many games they've missed due to injury. Here's along with Embiid and... And so when you take those guys out of the lineup, that means you have to take someone off the bench and put them in the starting lineup. So that's had an impact, Sixers. The rookie Mannion just made that little six-footer. Picked up, turnover the other way, Mannion again. To the trailing. What we've seen here thus far, I mean, Warriors have not made a three-point shot yet. And, and Sixers also 20 points in the paint. Hilton, who puts it in, off the bench with it. They go Lee outside, three is up and in. Eastern Conference coming in. And the other way, Mannion got it to go with transition right there for Golden State. This uneven season with all kinds of disruptions, it's going to be like this, it seems like week to week, as Oubre will take it and nail one from about 19 feet away. Golden State, Looney on top with the fake, Howard there defending, and Kavon Looney with a pretty play as he was spinning. And there are going to be some opportunities for them, whether it be via trade or the waiver wire, to try to bolster that roster. And picked up by Philadelphia and Tobias Harris. Here comes Simmons running downhill. Look away pass. Korkmaz knocks in a triple from outside. Philadelphia by 14. Backcourt plus 14. Turnover. Green galloping up and off and tapped in. Again, the game tonight. And Korkmaz is going to try to set a screen, but here's the drive and the feed, and Bradley running uncovered off. in as easy to work uh, in conjunction with each other that you might agree. Here comes Lee trying to defend the driving Harris. Picked up by Harris. 30 wins, one behind. The Utah Jazz easily in for Bradley, who's getting it done. Game without uh, Steph Curry and, and no Clay Thompson still, and COVID still hitting this team. Back inside they go to Bradley who will put it down. A lot of people are still talking about that but uh, he's probably going to miss the last uh, five games of this road trip with a drive inside and two right there for Poole. The players like LeBron and Steph and Embiid, a lot of these guys that were being talked about, good move right there. A lot of that may be because of the circumstance of what's happened this season. Kelly Oubre inside, stays with it. Nice perseverance right there. I, I, I agree with you as well. And, and you know, I, I've said for a while, I don't know why we don't go to 15 for the All-Star game. So many struggles and had dealt with so much and obviously didn't have a lot of success on the court, but he felt like they connected and they grew a lot. See what happened with Clay and those injuries. I mean, they're, they're, that's a lot of extra basketball. And there's a, there's a lot of mental fatigue and a lot of pressure and stress and points. Not insurmountable if, if the Warriors can start making some shots. Only made one three in that first half as they get a nice two there. Wiseman now has got nine with three rebounds. Skying high. The double on Harris. The cutting Simmons. And they get the deuce inside. At four assists for Philadelphia. Yeah, his ability to facilitate as well as score. Run nothing for him, Greg, but... Uh, he has been able to score, and there's a beautiful pass inside. 
Wiseman gets it off to Wiggins. What a pass. Wiggins that is too strong. He tried to cook something up. And he was a little bit too strong on it, but got a clear shot. There's a clear shot. It's a three. Pool. Book it. It was, but the Wiseman comes to help, which he's supposed to. But you've got to get a sink and feel from that weak side, and the Sixers didn't get it on that possession. Here in the shot clock before the Sixers could get that defense set. It's six of their last seven shots to close to within six. Here comes Tobias Harris. Got it to go that time, hitting over Poole. Offense is kind of slowed down a little bit in part because they haven't had the same impact defensively and great play there by Green tacking and taking advantage of what's on the floor. Oubre with a three. Kelly Oubre puts it in. 17 for Oubre. 13 points a game. Cork Moss tonight has 11. Wide open three. Pool. Got it. It's been on a terrific streak here of late for the Warriors. Really a breath of fresh air. It's Harris inside. A floater on the fly. And Tobias Harris. Developing culture. The young players empowered and joined Doc Rivers. But on this road trip now and a tough one as they face Golden State. Green, give and go. Back out it goes. Lee thought three. His foot was on the line. That will count for two. Big shot outside. Damian Lee puts it in. Long shot outside. Three is right down the hatch. Pretty shot there by Tyrese Maxey. Second round pick out of Arizona. State, and here he goes with a pass into Lee, cutting, firing, hits it on the fly. This year, they've played much better on the road with 11 and 9 record coming into tonight. Nice spinner inside, counted for Harrison, a foul. Well, again, that'll be his 11th of the season. Lee, it's a three, got it. Nice shot outside, Damian Lee. Defense that's allowed them to get this lead. Maxi got a screen that opens the door and he wheels in for two. The threes for Golden State, six threes for the visiting 76ers. Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony. Here comes Wiggins in firing. As at a, a tremendously high level. And, and that's another thing he does a great job. He's a terrific screener. Right about that pass yeah. into Poole. And I've told him, you need to dominate. And we, he gave us a great statistic today. He said, as Milton takes it in and is free to fire and floats one through, Sometimes, you know, because he's not a guy that's getting 25 or 30 a night, you, you sometimes forget just how valuable he is. Is Milton able to get another layup there? Harris on top. Wiggins has the defensive assignment. And Simmons will come off that baseline. They snap it around. Good ball rotation. Three. Danny Green puts it through. Top team in the Eastern Conference. Slim lead over Brooklyn, who won tonight in... Portland to drive inside with a good feed. But nothing run for the 76ers over the last two minutes. Milton had that assist. Wiggins takes it in. Got it to go. What a play. And now for Golden State. All starters except Court Miles in for Philadelphia. Runner by Oubre who thought he was fouled. Here's Harris. Defended by Green. Got the shot up and in over Draymond Green. Harris continues to score well with 22. Mark Myers, the only starter not on the floor right now for Philadelphia. Good move. Zigzagging. Harris on the fly. Good! Or on Ben Simmons. He has the most. Here comes Shake Milton in and up and off. And picked up by Bradley, who corkscrews one up and in. Tony Bradley. With Poole setting up. It's Wiggins. Green on the cut. Great feed. The dunk by Draymond Green. He's got six. Ben Simmons did a Harris great forcing job the just issue. keeping that alive. Danny Green, floater on the fly. Falls for Danny Green. Terrific win. The Sixers win. Brooklyn wins. And so the game leads. Y'all know I am the biggest. Damian Lillard fan. And y'all have known that. If y'all have been following me, y'all have known that I've been his number one fan for years, years and years and years and years. And I think he is so underrated, so underappreciated. And I think now people are finally starting to see what type of player and person that he is. I like him because of obviously how he plays on the court, but how he carries himself off the court. He's so humble. 
uh, such a hardworking player. Def literally the definition of got it out the mud. Like I love everything that he stands for. So last night he scored 50 points in a comeback win against the Pelicans. He had 50 points, like I said, on 13 of 20 field goals. He was 18 for 18 from the free throw line, had 10 assists and six rebounds. This man is top five in the league right now. Top five. I will argue with anybody about this. Top five. He's been top five. I don't know why people are going to even try to argue this with me, but I'm open to the conversation. I'm not going to say my top five right now. We're going to save that for next week when you guys can call in and stuff so I can talk to y'all about that. But I already know y'all are going to hit my top five, but that's fine because it's my top five and Dame is in it. I know he's not in a lot of other people's top five. And we talking healthy players right now, by the way, healthy players that are playing right now. So that might alter some of y'all's top five a little bit. Doesn't really alter mine, but that's where we're going. I say what I said, that's it. We gonna come back to Dame next, next episode and talk about him. All right, cool. We done with sports. Okay, moving on.